Hi, Auntie Tam here, as always. <clears throat> and uh, today, again, we're, we're at a different location because I'm looking after my friend's cat. And I know the lighting isn't ideal, but I wanted this beautiful garden behind me to be in the background, if you can see. And today it's not raining in Johannesburg, so, uh, you know, you can actually get a decent sighting of the garden. And um, so today, what are we going to talk about? Well, before we begin, I remind you once more that I am not a psychologist, psychiatrist, or medical professional of any way, shape, or form. Everything that I'm talking to you about as far as depression goes comes from my own lived experience. All right, so let's get into this. What we're talking about today is childhood experiences that could lead to depression and trauma later on in life. Wow. If I look back at my own life, definitely my childhood and my parents have definitely had an influence on how I live my life and what I do and how I am in the world. And not most of it, actually. Not positive. Not in a good way. Um, and... Um, I was talking to uh, my counselor recently, and we, we spoke about um, how the wounded child within can have such a powerful influence on how you act and, 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 and how you take things in, in, in the real world, okay? And in my case, you know, I, I, I had spoken to her because I had um, a terrible experience at work, and uh, I had... I have a thing where you mustn't tell me I'm lying if I'm telling you the truth. And it really, really dawned on me that this came from an early experience in childhood where my cousin came over to, to play at my house. And I was about six years old. Now this cousin, I didn't really like this cousin. Why she was made to come and play over at our house, I don't know. I can't remember. Um, but I didn't like her very much. Um, she was always mean to me. And she was, even at her age, which would have been seven at the time, she was manipulative and, and really just an ugly, nasty little kid. And she would bully me a lot. So on this particular day, she took a ballpoint pen and she started drawing on the walls in my parents' house. And uh, later on, when it was time for her to go home, she, my parents saw the drawings on the wall. And they went, they were livid. Now, my parents knew that I am one of those, the, 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 I mean, unlike um, a second child, uh, you know, I'm the youngest, um, you know, I would always be following the rules. So when they questioned me and they said, who, who drew on the walls? I said, well, my cousin did. And they didn't believe me. And my cousin pointed at me, no, 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 Tam did. And my parents chose to believe my cousin over me. And I got such a hiding that day even though I was telling my truth and, and I hadn't drawn on the walls I tried everything to stop her from draw, drawing on the walls but she drew on the walls and I got into trouble for it and um, so for that reason I mean, it, it dawned on me I mean I'm 48 years old now and I only realize now that this is why I always have an issue with people saying to me no man that's not true. That's you're not telling the truth, and I'm like, but I am, I, you know. And um, so to to find out more about this wounded child and inner child work, um, I went to obviously the internet, and I found this chap. His name is Patrick Tian, and he does these really really awesome videos. I mean, he specializes in this. He specializes in childhood trauma and how um, people are in the world after a traumatic childhood of all kinds. And um, he was fascinating because it's not just about um, your, ex your experience as a child. It's your parents' experience as children and your grandparents' experience. It, it, it's like a cascade. It just it comes down through the generations and you, you sit back and you, you look at yourself and you're going, but then is this depression genetic or is it something that has come from all these influences 
um, my ancestors. And um, so the Patrick Tien puts it all very comprehensively. He explains it so well. He gives you exercises to do. He gives you tools to use. Um, so I would highly recommend if you're watching my channel, all seven of you, you know, seven followers now, um, all seven of you <laughs> who are watching right now, if you do want to do some work on, on inner child and wounded child, find out how your childhood experiences have translated into your mental illness of today, I would highly, highly recommend that you visit his channel and I will leave the link below. You know, below, below. <laughs> so I will leave the link below. So you can actually go to his channel, um, go to his website and have a look um, at, at what he's talking about because it all makes such sense. And this is what I'm, I'm working on now. I'm working on healing this little girl that's inside me. And you realize sometimes that the decisions, well, I realize, I'm not saying you, um, I realize that some of the decisions I've made in my life, some of the things I've done, my insecurity, my low self-esteem, my lack of confidence, my procrastination, um, it's all being dictated to by a frustrated six-year-old. And a frustrated 10-year-old. Mind blown. I mean, wow. You wouldn't think that, 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 that these things would have such a powerful impact on your life, but they do. And I suppose this is why, um, you know, the psychologists always ask, tell me about your childhood. Makes sense. So, yes, uh, this is something that we should consider while we are in recovery. And this is, again, why, why I emphasize going to a therapist. Um, whether you're taking medication or not, whether you are doing whatever you're doing to heal your body and the, the physical side, therapy, wow. I mean, therapy. I, I keep saying this. I keep saying therapy, therapy, therapy. Really. Therapy. I, I, I honestly, and I mean, I asked my, I was speaking to my nephew um, because he also experiences depression. And he is of the belief, he shares the belief that I have, and that is, even if you think there's nothing wrong with you, everybody should at least try therapy because you think you come through childhood, you know, okay. And like I said in my previous video, nobody comes through childhood unscathed. There are things that happen to you. There are things that you experience and things you've told that have an influence on you today. So how does this relate to depression? Well, imagine you've had this terrible traumatic experience and something similar appears in your life. It could be something very small, it could be something very big. And then it sets off this whole chain of sadness and depression in your life and in your body. And specifically, if you've been neglected or if you had some kind of trauma in your childhood, mental, physical, or sexual trauma in your childhood, it has a magnified ex effect. It, 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 it has an effect that, that, that creeps into every single corner of your life. Sex, it's work, it's relationships, it's the hobbies you do, your job even. Because so many people that I have spoken to and that I know of are actually, sorry, that was a cat, um, that I know of have pursued careers that their, cho their parents have chosen for them. And I'm one of those people. I wanted to be an opera singer when I left school. But my mother insisted that I study public relations and I study beauty therapy, which I did these things to make her happy. That was what was lacking in her life. That was lacking in her childhood, that was the opportunity she didn't have. So she wanted me to have the opportunity, literal opportunity that she didn't have. It's, her parents couldn't afford to, to pay for higher education. My dad's parents also couldn't afford to pay for higher education. My dad's philosophy was do whatever you, you want to do as long as you're happy. My mom's philosophy was do whatever you want to do as long as it's what I tell you to do. Mm. And here we are. 
needless to say, I never became an opera singer. <clears throat> but um, I just wanted to say that. I wanted to say how incredible, I mean, be because of that therapy session, because of finding Patrick Tien's YouTube channel, I can look back and I can see this long line of abuse and trauma that has affected me specifically. Um, and I'm not just talking about, about things that have occurred in my own life. I'm talking about the things that have occurred in my parents' lives and in my grandparents' lives, what I know of my grandparents' lives. I know that my mother came from a, a, a home where there was it was a dysfunctional relationship between my grandmother and my grandfather. It was a difficult relationship. My grandfather was physically abusive. Um, on my father's side, he didn't say much. He just he would say that his parents gave them a lot of love, but they grew up in poverty. My dad used to, you know, go to sh school without a pair of shoes. He couldn't do his final year of high school because that required him to have a school blazer. And he still had um, four or five siblings behind him that needed to go through school as well. So he gave up that opportunity for his brother, brothers and sister. And um, only when he was 33 did he complete high school, did he graduate high school. Um, and, um, I, you know, so he grew up in extreme poverty where, where, where there was a lack of, of shoes and clothing and things like that and, and, and schooling and whatever. <clears throat> my grandmother on my mom's side was adopted by by her, her, well she says her auntie, but still need to do some digging on that because both of her parents died when she was very young. My grandfather doesn't didn't really talk about his life in Italy before he came to South Africa, <clears throat> but I know that he's had, he also grew up in poverty. He had terrible experiences. The grandparents on my father's side, they grew up in poverty, in terrible circumstances. So I'm, this whole incredibly long line of, of trauma and pain and suffering and struggle coming through so many generations. And then I'm looking at my, my, the country that I'm living in, and I'm in South Africa, and I'm looking around me and I can understand so much pain. We're not just talking about um, pain that is has been generational because of apartheid. We're talking about the, the pain of, of children growing up with our parents, growing up with, the, with our fathers, experiencing violence in the streets of their home, of their townships where they lived. I mean, that's going to have a massive impact. Um, so yes, I'm, I'm just here, I'm saying my, my mind is completely blown by, by, and I mean, yeah, you, you might say, but Tam, you're 48 years old and you've been through therapy before, why didn't you? Well, look, I discussed issues that I had with my parents in therapy before, um, and family stuff, okay, I did. I discussed certain events in my life that came back from childhood, of course I did, but what I didn't realize was exactly which behaviors in my life these things influenced. Now, after watching Patrick's videos and after talking to my counselor, it's like the veil's been lifted. I can see for the first time because now I'm starting to put the pieces together. Okay, I the reason why I behave like this is because of that. Um, I, I find it very difficult um, and if you know me and you're in my life and you're a friend of mine, you will know that I pref I'm happy to perform and sing in front of people. But in a way, I find it incredibly difficult because I was told so many times, no, that's not a real career, that's not a real job. That's and, and my mother was a musician and she was told the same thing by her parents. And I could see this whole, whole world just starting to open up of understanding. So again, I encourage you, please get some therapy. Yes, we will. Uh, I know that this was quite a personal video today, but we'll, we'll jump right back into recovery um, from next week. Um, but 
wow guys it's hectic man so again i will say i highly recommend patrick tian especially if you want to explore the inner child stuff i can never sort this camera pointing yeah okay down below um i'll put the link you can you can go have a look um i'm finding his his advice and his videos so enlightening no, he's not paying me to say this. But, um, so I'm just, I'm saying this from my own experience from, from having watched these and seen how, how deep it goes. And anyway, again, I will stress therapy. You cannot do a physical healing thing for, for your depression and then not have therapy. The two need to go together. They need to go together because if you're just doing just doing the medication you're not actually doing anything you're just sorting out the physical symptoms you really need to go and look at those issues explore them um so here i am beautiful garden thank you my dear friend who is um well she's in cape town at the moment and having lots of wine i hope um and having lots of fun and um please um leave me your questions and your comments like subscribe if you find any of these things useful, I would like to know. So please do tell me and um, see you next time.